Born Temujin Borjigin in 1162, but popularly known as Genghis Khan and officially called Genghis Emperor. Genghis, whose birth name Temujin, which was derived from the Mongol word Temo, meaning of iron, and Jin, which connotes an agency. Hence, translating his name to blacksmith. Genghis, whose mother, Holun, was the second wife of Yesugen, a Kia chief of Kamad Mongol, was reportedly born in Delum Bulldog, near the Bokan Kaldon Mountain, and the Onon and Kalan rivers in modern day northern Mongolia. He was said to have been grasping a clot of blood in his feast at his birth, which was a traditional sign that he was destined to be a great leader. At the age of nine, Genghis was arranged by his father, Yesuge, to marry Bothe, who was 10 years old. Seven years later, they were finally married, but soon after the marriage, Bothe was kidnapped by the three Mekids and was given to one of the warriors as the spoil of war. Greatly distressed, Genghis led his allies several months later and rescued her. This became a milestone in Genghis's life towards becoming a conqueror. But Bote gave birth eight months later to a baby boy, which brought doubts about the paternity of the child as she could have been impregnated by her captive husband. But Genghis took Jochen, the baby boy, as his son, and Bote went on to bear three more sons. Though Genghis went on to have several other wives and sons, none except the sons of Bote became his heirs. Genghis, who had employed the aid of Jamuka, his friend and brother, for the rescue of Bote, became rivals and sworn enemy with Jamuka as they parted ways after the rescue mission was completed. But that one rescue conquest became Genghis's rise to power, coupled with a proclamation by Kokochu, the shaman, that the eternal blue sky had set aside the world for Genghis. Genghis was elected as Khan of the Mongols in 1186, but this infuriated Jamuka and he led an attack on Genghis the next year with 30,000 army troops. Though Genghis did try to defend himself and his men from the attack, he was badly beaten in the Dalan Balzhot battle. He recovered from that attack with a settlement years later between him and Jamuka. But in 1197, Jin attacked the Vassal and the Tatars with the help from the Mongols and the Togrul, which was led by Genghis, who got bestowed with the title of Jarad Kuri by the Jin. Genghis instituted a different way of ruling from the Mongol tradition by delegating authority that was based on the merit of skill and loyalty rather than that of family ties. At his defeat of rival tribes, he did not make away with the soldiers nor abandon the villagers. Instead, he joined the captured people to his tribe and under his protection, integrating them as members of his tribe. Some children were even adopted into his own family by his mother at his command. This built loyalty among the people he conquered, making him stronger in army and name. An assassination was planned against Genghis by Sengum, son of Wang Khan, who was an ally of Genghis. When Genghis learned of the planned assassination, he went out and defeated Sengum and his men. Genghis also became the sole ruler of the Mongol state after the defeat of the Naimans. The Mongol Empire was created by Genghis during the 1206 political rise and shared the western borders with the Zia dynasty of the Tangods. But later, Genghis forced the emperor of Zizia to submit to vassal status. After the conquest of the western Zia, in 1211, Genghis again conquered the Jin dynasty, killing hundreds of thousands of the Jin troops. The war pressed on till 2015, at which time he besieged the captured Zongdu, the capital of Jin, modern-day Beijing, forcing Emperor Zhuangzong to move south of Kaifeng and abandoning half of his empire to the Mongols. Finally, in 1234, the Jin dynasty fell to the Mongols. Genghis continued with his quest of territories, chasing after the Karakitai to defeat the Kuchlong, the disposed Khan of the defeated Naman confederation by the Mongols. And though the Mongols were exhausted from a continuous 10 years of wars and battles against the Jin dynasty and the Western Xia, Genghis still sent two two men 20,000 soldiers. By 1218, Kuchlong was defeated. 
Genghis thereafter sought to open a trade relationship using the Silk Road with the Khwarazmian dynasty, which was governed by the Shah Allah Adin Muhammad of the 13th century. But Genghis's caravan was seized, leading to a battle and a brutal conquest of the Khwarazmian Empire, totally destroying the empire's entire buildings, towns, farmlands, and populations. In 1220, after the conquest of the Khwarazmian Empire, Genghis led his army in Persia and Armenia back to the Mongolian steeps. The army was split into two forces, with Genghis leading one force through Afghanistan and northern India raids, while the other 20,000 men were led by the two generals, Subat Subutai and Jebe, through the Caucasus and into Russia. Although Genghis was a Tengrist, he had a religious tolerance and had more interest in the learning of philosophy and moral lessons from other religions. He took learning from Muslims, Christians, Kuitrugi Taoist monks, and Buddhist monks. He also exempted all these groups from paying taxes which continued till the end of the Yuan dynasty in 1368. During the later part of Genghis's reign, when he reached his old age, the issue of his successor became great trouble as the paternity of Jochi, Genghis's oldest son, once again surfaced. Chagatai, the son born, contested that he would never accept nor submit to Jochi should he ever be crowned as heir. Genghis knew that should he declare Jochi as his successor, Chagatai will raise a constant war against his brother but he would not name Chagatai either for his contemptuous and rash behavior. Therefore, Ogedei Khan, the third son of Genghis, was named and appointed as a successor. Finally, in August 1227, Genghis died. Although the cause of his death still remains a mystery, various stories of his death have been told, with some saying he died in action against the Western Zia, others said he died after falling from a horse, and also, that he died of the wounds he sustained during a battle of hunting expedition. Genghis, who has been a famous warrior in life, chose to be buried with no markings to his grave. His body was returned to his birthplace in Kenti Aymag, Mongolia, where he was buried. But unlike most emperors, Genghis let no one paint his image or make a sculpture of him. There are, however, images of Genghis Khan, which were produced half a century after his death through the imagination of those who presumably knew him. The portrait of Genghis at the National Palace Museum is mostly seen as the closest resemblance to Genghis. Genghis lived for the Mongol Empire beyond his military accomplishments. He advanced the empire by adopting the Uyghur script as the writing system and also engaged in the practice of meritocracy and religious tolerance. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.